We talk to you guys on Instagram, Facebook, and my second crash pad, YouTube. Most of our viewers are intelligent, thoughtful, passionate people who care about social issues. So we love engaging with y'all. I've never said y'all before. On that note, we're going to respond to some comments right now. Let's go. Here we go. First up, uh, this is from when we had former president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili, talk to us about unlikely new his unlikely new address. He moved to Williamsburg, Brooklyn, a.k.a. Hipster Central. We got this titillating query after we posted the clip. Here it is. Uh, so I said what was going on, and Jeff DeRizzo says, please explain to me the difference between a pseudo-hipster and a hipster. You're the most recent... Uh, Brooklyn yeah. expat. No, so. I, I still legally live there, and I actually have hung out with Mikhail Saakashvili. In no the way! Republic. We've gone nightclubbing together. No! No lie. Yeah, That's he's a fascinating... Amazing. So him moving to Brooklyn, no surprise to me. Uh, Pseudo-hipster versus hipster. A pseudo hipster is uh, probably just a weaker person because <laughs> you gotta commit, to commit or yeah. don't. But like to fake at something that already has elements of fakeness to it is pretty weak. Yeah. More likely to date a hipster or a pseudo hipster? I'm more likely to not date. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> All right. So then we had more a general comment that was sort of less of a question and more of a statement about our entire YouTube channel. Check this out. Uh, we the video was this Putin the next Hitler. Uh, Rigo Rivera says your videos give me cancer. I assure you they don't. I assure you our videos aren't giving you cancer. There you go. Uh, Science just said they don't. Megan I the Scientist. I assure you they don't. And this comes from the person who thinks that everybody might get Ebola, so thank goodness. All right, on a similar carcinogenic note, uh, this next statement was inspired by a very early episode when porn star Asa Akira joined us to sound off about female empowerment in porn. Uh, so Times Joe said, damn, what a fucking boner killer. Feminists are cancer. Wait, I assure Ooh, you they're not. No. <laughs> Dr. Sure Megan to the rescue. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, feminists are far from boner killers. In fact, maybe the exact opposite, sir. Okay? There you go. Maybe there's something wrong with your boner. Yeah, yeah. that's feminist exactly right. And you know what? Yeah. Since I, I turned down said, for what? That's right. Maybe there's something wrong with you if feminism <laughs> yes. turns you off. I like that bear tune day. And I just like to say boner, boner, boner. But not all comments can be hilariously <laughs> offensive and spectacularly dunderheaded. This one was just straight up brilliant. We asked you, should teenagers have the right to vote? And you said, Eric Brock, I have a better idea. Raise the taxing age. If you can't vote, your income should be tax-free. By the way, I said this, but it got edited out of the damn YouTube clip. Uh -uh. Is that a conspiracy, Jacob? It's a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a good idea that I had to make it seem like Eric Brock had the idea. So, Eric Brock, we know what you're really up to. <laughs>